I'm so honored to be here. This is such a beautiful town. It's my first time here. And to read this book, which is one of my favorites as a, as a child, is really exciting. So are we ready to begin? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank, of having nothing to do. Once or twice she peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what's the use of this book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? So she was considering in her own mind, as well as she could for the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid, whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies, when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her. There was nothing so very remarkable in that, nor did Alice think very much of it when she heard the rabbit say itself, oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. When she thought afterward, it occurred to her she ought to have wondered at this, but at the time it seemed all quite natural. But when the rabbit actually took a watch out of its waistcoat pocket and looked at it and then hurried on, Alice started to her feet, for it flashed across her mind that she had never before seen a rabbit with either a waistcoat pocket or a watch to take out of it, and burning with curiosity, she ran across the field after it, and just in time to see it pop down a large rabbit hole under the hedge. In another moment, down, Alice went after it, never once considering how in the world she was going to get out again. The rabbit hole went straight down like a tunnel for some way, and then dipped suddenly down, so suddenly that Alice had not a moment to think about stopping herself before she found herself falling down to what seemed a very deep well. Either the well was very deep, or she fell very slowly, for she had plenty of time as she went down to look about her, and to wonder what was going to happen next. First, she tried to look down and make out what she was coming to, but it was too dark to see anything. Then she looked at the sides of the well and noticed they were filled with cupboards and bookshelves. Here and there, she saw maps and pictures hung upon pegs. She took down a jar of one of the shelves as she passed, and it was labeled orange marmalade. But to her great disappointment, it was empty. She did not like the drop to drop the jar of fear it might be killing someone underneath. So she managed to put it into one of the cupboards as she fell past. Well, thought Alice to herself, after such a fall as this, I shall think nothing of tumbling downstairs. How brave they will all think of me at home. Why, I wouldn't say anything about it, even if I fell off the top of the house, which was very likely true. Down, down, down. Would the fall never come to an end? I wonder how many miles I've fallen this time, she said out loud. I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. Let me see, that would be 4,000 miles down, I think. For you see, Alice had learned several things about this sort in her lessons in the schoolroom. And though this was not a very good opportunity for showing off her knowledge, as there was no one to listen to her, it was still good practice to say it over. Yes, that's about the right distance. But then, I wonder what latitude or longitude I've gotten to. Alice had not the slightest idea of what latitude or longitude either were, but she thought they were nice, grand words to say. Presently, she began again. I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth. How funny it seemed to come out among the people that walk with their heads downward. The antipathies, I think. She was rather there, was no one listening at this time. That didn't sound like the right word at all. But I shall have to ask you, what in the country is that? Please, ma'am, is this New Zealand or Australia? And the rest of you will have to keep reading and see what happens next after Alice falls down the hall. <laughs> okay, uh, any questions for Mr. Jersey? Don't be shy, guys, come on. listen a little better when I have a crown and a satchel. 
<laughs> so I started at the local level, and I was Miss Atlantic County, and I was in the Central Coast, and I had gone to Miss New Jersey the first year, and I was second runner-up. So I didn't win, but I wanted to keep chasing my dream. So I went back to Miss New Jersey last year, and I competed again, and I was able to win. So what we are is a horse scholarship organization. We compete in the Miss New Jersey pageant that brings us to Miss America. I just left the Miss America pageant. I don't know if any of you got the chance to see it on ABC September 13th. But it was such a wonderful experience. We compete in evening gowns, swimsuit, on-stage question, interview, and talent. My talent is Latin rhythm jazz, and I do a little bit of magic. And my talent, and I'm going to do a little bit of magic today with some of the children. Yes? When did you start coming out to your When did I start making out? And I had first read the book, and I read the book that looks like the Disney one. And I thought that it was so wonderful that I wanted to read the full version. So then I read the full version, and then I watched the movie, and then a bunch of different movies came out, so I've always loved Alice in Wonderland. Um, during your were you on the news? Was I on the news? Is that what you were asking? Yeah. yeah, okay, yes, I was many times. Just recently, I was interviewed by ABC, NBC, Fox, all the time for my journey to Miss America. Great. Okay, so Mr. Jersey is going to perform some magic, so we want a couple of volunteers. Who can we get to come up? Great. Okay. One, two, three, four. Come up really quick. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, because I'm going to teach you how to do some magic. So we're going to come back here, and I'm going to show all of you what we're going to do, and then we're going to perform it for everyone. And then after, I have an adult trip, which is related to distracted driving, because this week is Teen Driving Safety Awareness Week. So I'm going to need an adult in the middle of this. So can kids come with me? We're going to come back here. Who think they're good at texting and driving? Have you ever texted? 
Of course not. I know that's a lie. <laughs> so many people think that they are good at texting and driving, but the mind can only handle one thing at a time. So you're either processing driving or you're processing texting. Your attention cannot be on both things at the same time. So I do a little card demonstration because I like magic, and although this isn't exactly a magic trick, it demonstrates how the mind handles texting while driving. So I'm going to have them perform the first task, and I'm going to have you take these cards. Let me take this one out. You're going to take these cards and put them by scoop. So I want all the clubs, spades, diamonds, and hearts in four different piles, and I'm going to time him doing that. We're going to see how fast he can do it, so go as fast as you can. <laughs> and the second time, we're going to introduce a second task, which would be texting while you were driving. And you're going to see how it affects his ability to perform the first task. Okay, so let's do this now. You're going to take this. I'm going to time you. And you're going to put these in the four piles on this table right here. Don't start yet, but go as fast as you can. Doesn't matter. Just put them in hearts, spades, diamonds, and gloves. Got my stopwatch ready? And go. So right now he's performing one task as if we were just driving down the road. just yet. Okay, so I'm going to take these cards, I'm going to put them back together. The first time he did it, it took him 41 seconds. So now it's going to get a little bit more interesting when we introduce the second task. So I'm going to give these a good shuffle. I'm from Atlantic City, so I know how to shuffle. Everyone says, how'd you get so good at shuffling? I grew up in it. <laughs>
film. They did. Yeah. Oh, that's so fun. Your daddy picked for everything. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. I'll see you, buddy. like to welcome you to the Barrel of Lodi, and uh, we have a proclamation for you. I'd like to read it. Whereas the Lodi Memorial Library is celebrating the 150th anniversary of Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll on October 22nd, 2015, and whereas the Borough of Lodi is honored to have Miss New Jersey 2015, Lindsay Giannini, visiting and participating in the festivities planned for this anniversary celebration. And whereas Lindsay Giannini is a wonderful role model to the youth of Lodi as she strives for academic excellence as well as community service. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and council of the borough of Lodi commend Lindsay Giannini for her many accomplishments and thank her for participating in Lodi celebration. Thank you. 